previously on Raider Power, Texas Tech football. Here we go, family on three, one, two, three. Family. Anytime you, you suffer defeat or anytime there's any type of adversity, I think that's really what holds you together is, uh, you know, caring for one another. I think our guys have, have a good bond in here. You know, I think it, I think it, it goes across offense and defense, you know, and, which is important. We preach it every day. You know, everybody's got to, you know, do things together. You know, it's like brothers. You know, you know, it's a huge family. The more that you can get that over to your players, the more that they interact with each other, the better chance you got you, that you have with them being a team. Number one thing I'm looking for out of everybody that plays in this room is accountability. All right, accountability, accountability to yourself and to your teammates. You know, we've really talked about accountability. Um, you know doing your job to the best of your capabilities and, and doing it because you care about the guy next to you. We're working really hard. There's some mistakes. we got to get corrected. we got to catch the ball a little bit better. Okay, and there's some mistakes that we're making. We can get corrected. But if we play with that effort, okay, if we play with that effort, then we're going to be in good shape on Saturday night. Okay, we'll be in good shape. We're going to win or lose right down here. Let's go. Come on. Fly around. Give us a great look. The scout team is huge. You know, uh, the scout team, and i got to be honest, this is the, the first place I've been where the scout team is they're pretty good. That's the kind of effort right there, right? We got a chance now. We get great effort. Uh, we get a lot of skill, of course, because of our receivers and quarterbacks. So, the scout team is very competitive here. Welcome to Ames, Iowa, Jack Trice Stadium, the home of the Iowa State Cyclones as they take on your Texas Tech Red Raiders. We're on the road. First time these guys have played in a Big 12 game on the road to, in this offense and defense, and a lot of them, period, uh, in a Big 12 game on the road. So, uh, you know, there's, uh, there's obviously huge disappointment. It goes left side and deep, and it's caught. Touchdown, Iowa State. Obviously, Iowa State had something to do with it. They had no turnovers. Uh, they were playing at home. They were playing on uh, a lot of momentum, uh, a lot of uh, uh, adrenaline. Now Arnott throws right side fade for Lenz. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown Cyclones. We're not a team that can give away points and expect to overcome that very easily. Hand off Robinson straight up the middle. Touchdown Iowa State. We've got young guys that are learning every day how to play this defense. And they'll get better and better. We're going to make mistakes. Uh, and we knew going into this season, offensively, we're going to have to outscore other teams at times. And the other night, we just weren't able to keep them uh, to the point where we could outscore. He rolls to the right, throws on the run to the end zone for his tight end. Franklin, he went up for it, pulls it down, touchdown Iowa State. Defensively, we just, I thought we took a step backwards. But, you know, those are things that we can, can correct. And as long as they keep giving effort. It's Stevens that has the catch, and he gets beside a defender at the 10, down to the 5, into the end zone. Touchdown, Red Raiders. There's a, there was a lot of bright points, even though that uh, we did lose the game. Uh, I thought offensively we made some strides. Potts looking left. He's going to throw the fade left side for Leong into the end zone. Up for it. He's got it. Touchdown, Red Raiders. Really, we performed pretty well early in that Iowa State game. We just were dropping balls. And to see finally everything start clicking when we got the ball with about three minutes to go. And, and then, uh, you know, we got rolling. You know, I think we had 450 yards, uh, 38 points, and about, and just about a little under 33 minutes. Throws it to Stevens, who had cleared right side. He's got the football in the end zone. Touchdown, Red Raiders. It, it, it was good to see. Uh, wasn't surprised. Knew what we were capable of. Lob pass, oh, wide left open. side, wide open is Leon. Touchdown, Red Raiders. These kids have. Uh, Laid it on the line, and all four games this year, we just we hadn't executed very well. The ball hadn't bounced our way some. High up into the air, and it's Iowa State that goes up high and gets it, and clear sailing down the sideline. It's going to be a touchdown for Iowa State. But we also saw, uh, uh, you know, through the film and after the game, opportunities to get better, and that's what we'll try to do each game. 
you know, when you watch film, the thing that you got to have to understand is, you know, look at number one, how you played, and did did you under really understand what you were supposed to do or how to do it? Uh, did you prepare to get it done, you know, the right way? If you did it the right way, was there any way that you even made yourself even better? Now, just understand our responsibilities. Understand your responsibilities. Uh, our special teams weren't very good. That's uh, of all three games, we made more mistakes on special teams in that one game than we any other time that, that we played all year. You don't think special teams matters? There it is, right there, fellas. 17 points. We've got three coming. You know, special teams is just as important as what we do on offense and defense. And, you know, for whatever reason, we just had a lack of execution. As we look at the film, uh, we want special team guys to understand the mistakes, understand that, you know, what they do is as important as what a quarterback does. Every phase, whether it be offense, defense, special teams, well, everybody on our team is very important. Some place the importance on playing a position on offense and or defense rather than playing football. The people that's out there, we, they have to take it more seriously. A lot of guys, I guess, feel like once they get to a certain st a status, they shouldn't have to do it, whether you be a starter or make a name, for, whatever it may be. But that, that's not going to work. We all have to understand that special teams is what makes us. You can always tell the tempo of a team and the heart of a team by the special teams and the way they play. The big thing, again, in special teams is you have to take pride in special teams. You have to understand that, that uh, you have to prepare like a quarterback does. You have to watch film. You have to understand who their returners are, who's going to block you on a return, uh, what to expect on certain situations. Backside guys, there's a reason that we come over this way. There's a reason we come over here. So it's one of those things where, again, we, we need some guys to, to be a little bit less selfish, uh, to be more team involved and team motivated and want to take part in that because special teams really makes a difference in every ball game. No matter how you look at it, win or lose, special teams always makes a difference. Do your job. Focus on your job. And uh, really just, just, just be confident that you know what you're doing. If you don't know, ask. Because once you think, anytime you have to think and play, it's a lot harder than just reacting. Get a piece of him. Get a piece of him. Missed the double team, missed the wham block, sticks it up in there. We've got so many young guys on the special teams that uh, it, it is, this is truly a rookie bunch. But again, they've held their own to this point. And for some reason, uh, our kickers, our coverage teams, our field goal kicker, a punter, you know, it was always kind of like we were off rhythm. And uh, we're just not good enough at this point on offense and defense to play without uh, good special teams. Flip and tune, get your body under control, square up, don't let your feet stop, and bring it to him. A young team, that's our job as far as educating them, learning from my experiences and learning from my losses and, and move on. But definitely special teams has to be one thing that we, we take more of an emphasis on and take more pride in as, as a player. A lot of people to see uh, special teams as a playoff. You can't do that. I mean, it, 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 it's field position is what it is. That's the ultimate goal of special teams is field position. Our average drive start after special teams is 24 yard line. Theirs was a 35 yard line. Uh, got beat by 11 yards there. Big and if you look at our st our field position where we started against Iowa State, it wasn't good. And we need to put heavy emphasis on that this week and, and get better field positions out of those Here's two units. Here's the coaching points. We're running through those guys. Running through those guys. We're not breaking down. We're not slowing down. We're not fitting up on it now. When it comes to special teams, you know, everybody wants to be the star. You know, everybody wants to be that guy. But we forget sometimes that football is probably the last true team sport there is. Teams on three, teams on three. One, two, three. Teams. <laughs>
you know, where two weeks ago against Texas, we just played back very, very poorly. This week, you know, in the second half especially, we played good, and, and our kids can saw, saw the positive aspects and something to build on. I thought our inside receivers did a nice job um, blocking inside run. We saw what we're really capable of and how we can play every single play or every single series, how that can really be. And, uh, you know, it was, it's nice to see that. And we got Swindle in here blocking him, blocking him all the way to the whistle. Okay. The biggest thing that we focused on was, uh, you know, the difference early in the game was we didn't make plays. You know, the, the thing about offense is you can't wait to the second half. And it looks like against Texas and the two games we lost in Iowa State, we, we started slow, we kind of felt our way around instead of just relaxing, opening it up and going with it. And so that, that's what, I, I think we made tremendous strides on offense, even though we didn't score enough points to win, which is the point of the game. I don't know what's been taking so long for the last couple of games, but we have to find a way to come out and get it going immediately instead of waiting a whole quarter. Because that's when you play good teams, that's not like we, we were down 24 to zero before we ever even got it going. We can't turn the ball over, and we got to make plays on third down. You know, we're almost there. You know, we, you know, it, it's so close every single time, and um, you know, like a third down or something like that. You got to catch the ball third down. The difference was is we didn't make plays early. We made plays later in the game. And that, and that goes for receivers, running backs, offensive linemen, you know, making plays at their positions, winning their one-on-one -on -one matchups. This game, our linemen, they really stepped it up. And they um, took it upon themselves to, to improve during the bye week. And it really showed. It was unbelievable how, you know, how well they played. And, and you go back and watch the film and how physical and how strong and how mean they played. And I thought they played like tough guys. And that's something we can build on. You know, at times it just seemed like they were just throwing guys around and, you know, just because they wanted to. And, you know, they, they were just, I mean, had all the time in the world and, you know, they were blocking for the running backs. And they played better. They were, they were much more consistent. Uh, I thought they played like tough guys. You know, that's what we want in our offensive line. We'd like to have athletes and, and, and we like to have agile guys and all that kind of stuff. But the number one thing is we want tough guys. Ready, go ahead. Uh,